hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today's video is really fun i decided that i wanted to recreate an, an ally glines makeup look and specifically i'm going to be recreating her everyday makeup for 2020 except for i'm going to be using all clean beauty makeup products ally glines creates the prettiest makeup look so i thought it would be fun to try to recreate a look that she made using clean beauty products and i will also have ally glines video linked in the description box below if you want to see the original look and to see the products that she used so let's just Let's get right to the video. So before applying foundation, she applies a moisturizer just to prep her skin and get it ready for the rest of her makeup application. Um, so for moisturizer, she used the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. I already went ahead and applied a moisturizer and I used the Face Theory Super Gel Oil Free Moisturizer M3. Um, it's just a nice gel moisturizer, gets everything prepped and ready. And then for foundation, she uses the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. And what I'm going to use is the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Cream Foundation. This is one of my favorite clean beauty foundations, at least as of recently. I have, well, actually for a while, this has been like one of my favorite go-to foundations. It is so nice. It makes your skin look so... It, well, first off, it gives great coverage and it also just looks super skin-like as long as you don't go too heavy with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. And I have this in the shade 22. And I'm just going to start blending this out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And this is definitely my one of my favorite ways to apply foundation in general. Um, just because it does make the foundation look so much more seamless. Helps it so it doesn't look cakey as easily. And just really helps get it into the skin. And I just find that it works so much better than a brush. In my experience, the brush just normally makes my foundation look cakey. So as you can see, it does give a really good coverage right off the bat. I am going to try to build it up a little bit more just because I do want a little bit more coverage. Though because this is an everyday makeup look, um, use whatever you like. You don't even have to apply a foundation. You could just use a sunscreen or just a moisturizer and go on your way. Um, you don't have to apply a base product if you don't want to, of course. Just whatever you feel like. So anything in this makeup look, you can just adjust it to do what you like. Of course, for your everyday favorites, the products that you like to use um, so you can definitely skip steps if you want as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and build this up a little bit and I'm just taking any bit that is left and just applying this under the eyes and then on the eyelids so next for concealer, she uses the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm going to use the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is one of my go-to concealers. I have two shades here. Um, I have Chicory SC1 and Yucca SC2. So I'm just going to apply the lighter shade SC1 under the eyes, as well as on the eyelids because this is going to help to create that even base for the eyeshadow later. And then I'm going to take the a little bit of a darker shade. I feel like this one matches my skin tone well, so I'm going to use this to do any extra spot concealing that I have. If you don't have anything extra to spot conceal, don't worry about doing that. Um, just adjust it to what you like. So now I want to set my face. I know it's looking a little bit oily right now. This is a very dewy foundation, but I think it looks really pretty great for um, just a really natural dewy look. I really like it. Um, so for a setting powder, she uses the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm going to use the Vapor Beauty Perfecting Powder Pressed, and this is a translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to do what she does. I'm just going to press this 
or just apply this all over the face but focusing it in the t-zone around the nose and on the chin but i'm also applying this everywhere as well and i'm also bringing this onto the eyelids to prep that for the eyeshadow and then i'm going to take a more precise brush and just apply it to under the eyes as well After that she goes ahead and she uses another powder so she moves on and she uses the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Mood Light Powder in the shade Do You. So this is a luminous powder and she uses this to help kind of bring some um, luminosity back to the skin after using the setting powder. So um, for that I'm going to use the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo and I'm going to use the highlight shade in here and I'm actually going to put this all over the face like she does because she uses that the uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light Powder. She uses that all over her face um, to bring that luminosity back to the skin. This highlighter in the Lily Lolo Contour Duo is a very subtle highlighter, so I am going to use this all over the face. It doesn't look crazy or anything doing this. Um, I think it looks really pretty and helps to bring that luminosity to the skin. But just lightly dusting this over the face it gives a nice luminosity. So for bronzer, she uses the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer, and I am going to use the Cayer Weiss Bronzer, and this is in the shade Basque. I think it's super pretty. I really like the color as well. I think it you can make it look very natural. And then I'm just going to kind of take what is left on the brush and just lightly put this on the nose as well. For highlighter, I'm going back to the Lily Lolo Contour Duo and I'm going to use the highlighter in there again. But of course, I'm using this as highlighter now. As you can see, hopefully you could see, but it does give a really pretty highlight and you can build this up. Definitely, if you want it to be more subtle, you can do that as well. Also, I didn't say, so for highlighter, she again uses the Jaclyn Cosmetics Mood Light Powder in the shade of Do You, so that's what she uses for highlighter. So for eyeshadow, she uses a ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Bel Air, which is a taupey brownie type of shade. And I'm going to use the Kair Weiss eyeshadow in the shade Charmed, and again, this is a taupey brown type of shade, and you can totally use a bronzer as well. Like, I could just add the same Kair Weiss bronzer, or just whatever bronzer you have, you can use that. And I do like using bronzers um, and just popping them in the crease for the eye, for an eyeshadow look. Um, I definitely do that a lot for everyday makeup. I just think that it's super easy and helps to put a look together. So she just kind of puts the shade all over the lid and into the crease as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, she does build up the pigment a little bit more on the lid and then just blends it out into the crease as well. Okay, and then I'm also going to bring that same eyeshadow onto the lower lash line, and I'm just going to kind of smoke that out. So before eyeshadow, she did do her eyebrows. I forgot to do that. So before she applied eyeshadow, she applied an eyebrow product. I forgot to do that, so I'm going to do that now. So for eyebrows, she uses the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I'm going to use the PYT Beauty POV Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Taupe.
So then back to the eyeshadow, she then uses a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Mocha. And I'm going to use a shade from this PYT Beauty palette. I'm going to use this darker brown shade right here. And this is in the shade Slow Burn. And what she does is she uses this kind of like an eyeliner. And she uses the brown shade just because it is more of a soft look. And using eyeshadow also makes it look more soft than using a regular eyeliner. And I do really like this look as well. So she just lines the eyelids like she would with a regular eyeliner. And then she just takes the excess and applies that to the lower lash line. Alright, and then for mascara, she uses the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, and I'm going to use the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, so I'm just going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then apply the mascara. Alright, so then for blush, she uses the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blue Blush in Blurred Buff. And I'm going to use the Kosas Contra Chroma Blush. This is one of my absolute favorite blushes. I reach for this all the time for everyday makeup. Such a pretty, just everyday pink blush color. So next she applies a lip liner and she uses the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in 90s style. And I'm going to use the Lily Lolo Lip Liner in Soft Nude. And she does fill in her lips with the lip liner as well. And then for lipstick, she uses the KKW Beauty Times Mario lipstick in He's a Mixer. And I'm going to use the Jane Iredale lipstick in the shade Molly. Next, she tops off the lips with a lip gloss and she uses the Clinique Pop lip gloss in the shade Caramel Pop. And I'm going to use the Fit Glow lip color serum in the shade Beach Glow. So then she highlights the inner corners of the eyes and she uses the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Mood Light Powder again and that's in the shade Do You. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same highlighter that I used before. So that is the Lily Lolo Contour Duo Highlighter. So I'm just taking that and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. And then she also applies some of the highlighter to the brow bone. So I'm going to do that as well. So then she goes back to the eyebrows and she uses the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter and I'm going to use the Ilia Beauty Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel and this is in the shade Blonde and this does have a tint to it so I'm just going to do this very lightly and it's just going to help, uh, it's going to add a little bit more of a tint but then it's also going to help set the brows. Afterwards, she um, goes ahead and she adds some more setting powder to some areas. I'm going to do that as well because there are some areas that are looking a little bit more shiny than I want them to. And also just to help the makeup last longer throughout the day. So I'm adding this to the T-zone. I'm going to put a little bit on the chin as well. And then also around the nose. And on the cheeks a little bit. Just anywhere where you think it kind, the makeup kind of starts to go away quicker, just add a little bit of setting powder there. And then she also adds a little bit more bronzer, and I'm going to do that as well. Love a good bronzed look. you guys.
guys so this is the completed makeup look i think that it came together really nicely and i think it was just a lot of fun to recreate that so if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this where i create somebody's look um definitely let me know because i would be happy to do more videos like this i had a lot of fun doing it so i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you want to see even more clean beauty content from me i would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video bye guys